What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel and a massive welcome to 2021. Now, I don't know about you, but after the year that we've had, I really feel like a massive declutter. I think it's gonna be an amazing way to clear the mind and start off this year on a really positive note. So in today's video, I am going to be decluttering my space following pretty much the Marie Kondo method that I did, oh, coming up to two years ago now. And broadly, I've kept a lot of those systems in place, but I think over 2020, with moving from Dublin to home to Dublin to home, and just that bit of uncertainty, my room got a little bit crazy. So I will show you just a quick look at some of the different areas of my room that I spent a lot of time working on the last time that I did a massive clear it. And you can see that I broadly adhered to the folding method. I did my best to keep certain items hung, but as you can see, there is no order on this wardrobe anymore. And the folding is a little bit lackluster and it leaves a lot to be desired. So that definitely needs some work. If you do like the video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up as we go along and please don't forget to hit subscribe so that you don't miss any more of my videos. And let's get into this declutter. I've already gone around the house and gathered everything that I own. I have already cleared a rack of clothes that I want to hang and keep. I have a bin for donations and I'm planning on just using a pile on the floor for any clothing that literally can't be saved, whatever the case may be. I thought I was bad a couple of years ago when I did this and it really was horrendous. But this pile just goes to show that even if you do a massive declutter, the likelihood is it is not enough. That's an absolutely immense amount of clothes for people to own, I'm not even gonna lie. So I'm a bit shocked. Checking the time, it is now 12.16. Let's check back in at 1.16 and see how we're getting on. I feel like that would be a good breaking point to grab a cup of tea and hopefully dry my tears because this is going to be intense. Let's get going. Cue the montage. <laughs> Yeah, it is definitely as challenging as it was the last time. You don't realize that actually having certain pieces in your wardrobe are an emotional attachment. Like you just have them there and it's almost like a security blanket, even if you never wear them. I have pieces in here that I might have worn once or twice. There are loads of absolutely beautiful dresses that I know now wouldn't make me look my best, wouldn't make me feel my best more importantly. So I think I just need to remind myself of that every time I pick up something that I know I wouldn't wear again. Yeah. Okay. It is 1.16. It's an hour since I started going through everything and I'm actually fairly impressed with the progress that I've made. Yes, it's messy, but I can see the floor, so that's a bonus. Right. Everything here is unfortunately not good enough to be salvaged. So I wouldn't even donate it because honestly it's not good quality enough and nobody would wear it. It would actually be insulting. So that is my bin pile. Up here I have my workout clothes, some of which is new from Christmas. So in order to make room for the new, I got rid of a lot of the old. On my rack is at the moment what I want to keep. It's still an awful lot of clothes, but it is a mixture of winter and summer. Now I haven't organized it by that category. It just kind of worked out like that. Here I have all my t-shirts that were folded in the drawers. I opened them up, I held them. I decided that yes, I do want to keep these. I have jeans and some job purse and I have my kind of relaxing hoodies and sweats. So I definitely want to keep all of those. And all of these are pajamas. They're all pajamas that I love for different reasons. Some of them are Christmas. Some of them are really light for summer. But honestly, I think the pile is still too big and it definitely needs to be at least halved. So that's gonna be tough. One thing that I didn't show was my box of Donate. So it's actually a fairly decent sized box and I'm pretty happy with everything that's in it. But right now I'm just so excited for food. Bring on the food. All right guys, we are back. I am fed, I am happy. And I have the Hoover in tow. So 
first things first, before I get started putting anything away and double checking that they're definitely the things that I want to keep, I'm going to hoover out my drawers and I'm going to give them a good wipe down. So for that, I have a vinegar water mixture, which is my standard go-to cleaning liquid. And I'm going to give everything a good once over and make sure that I have the windows open, even though it is January and it is very cold and it's already starting to get dark, even though it is only half past two. So we will try and crack on and get as much of this filmed today before we lose all of our daylight. Oh, I just bit off way more than I could chew because I didn't clear out my wardrobe before I started doing this. I had, I have like shelves of stuff and I need those shelves of stuff in order to put my clothes back where they need to be happily. Ignoring all of this stuff here, I have kept the dresses that I want to keep. I've also started to fold my jeans and pack them away into my drawer. And although at this angle it doesn't look like they fit, they fit beautifully. So I'm very happy with that. Again, it doesn't look like there's a whole ton gone, but believe me, this rack is completely empty now. And this is about the extent of what I'm going to be hanging from now on. So I'm very, very pleased with that. So I know that Marie Kondo does say to set yourself aside the day, but I actually, I don't have it in me to do it for an entire day. So I'm going to break it up into two parts to just make my life a little bit easier. And hopefully when I turn this camera on with what will be tomorrow for me, but about two seconds for you, I will have made some good progress. We're back. It's day two. I am holding on to Christmas for dear life. And I have a little helper with me today, Miss Pippi. Oh, she's being so cute and needy. I'm literally getting absolutely nothing done because how could you with a face like that? We're on to kimono, which is the miscellaneous category. So we're moving down through Marie Kondo's list from books and papers down to things like cosmetics. And I have to admit, I went back and I watched my Marie Kondo decluttering part two video that I did last year because I honestly couldn't remember what order I had to go in. So taking inspiration from that video, I'm going to start with books and papers. Now, I know already that I'm not going to be getting rid of any of my books. I already did that, I already went through it. I've already kept what I love. However, it does need organization. So I'm going to take them off the shelves, give them a dust down and a clean down and all the rest of it. What does need work is papers because I've done a series of exams since then and for some reason I have kept all of my notes stacked in a pile just adding to mess and clutter. So I'm going to get rid of anything that I don't need obviously into the recycling bin. I'm not even worried about tidying today and making sure everything looks perfect. I just want to get rid of more stuff. Fun fact, I loved Wuthering Heights so much when we read it in school that we actually used this copy and marked it this one that we marked yeah we highlighted and I was just so sad that I had actually put marks on it that I bought myself a fresh new copy because I love that book so much. I should say as a quick side note that I did keep the blue box blue folder system going this year as I'm finding anything that could be relevant or important I'm popping it straight into that folder there's no point in not tidying that as you go I think because it just means things will get lost. So although there's quite a lot here, it's actually all books that I love and have read in the past and would love to read again. So I think what's really nice about actually doing this process again is I get to put my hand on them and remember that they're there and that I want to read them again. So I think that's going to be a goal for 2021 is to get through all of my favourite books that I have on my shelf. So that's where we're at. The place is still looking a little bit crazy, but I feel like I've gotten rid of a big box of clothes. There's a big box of recycling about to leave and my books are tidy. So our next category after books and papers is things that you just tend to throw as you go, as I like to say. And I feel like you can beat yourself up about that, but there's literally no point. I will probably be back here in January 2022 saying that I've done a lot of the same things. But as long as I'm not accumulating more and more stuff, this process gets quicker every time. It is definitely not taking me four days to do this like it did the first time I did it. Far from perfect, but much improved. I'm happy with that. Let's move on. I reckon what I can do there is get rid of or donate about 50% of that shelf. And once that's clean and clear, it's very, very easy for me to move any additional items that are here that are on display that I don't necessarily want on display anymore.
that shelf on the top there is empty and I've just put one box back there. This box needs to be organized. I need to get rid of half of these bags, but all of these shelves are now empty and ready to be reorganized. I haven't touched my cosmetics yet. This is my Christmas shelf, hasn't been touched yet, and my Disney traditions just need to be tidied. My desk is now a mess again with everything that was on these shelves. However, again, hoping to either tidy or discard at least 50% of what is on this desk. I'm sticking well to the process of holding something in my hand, deciding if it brings me joy. If it doesn't, it's going in the recycling or it's going to be donated. My donate bin is not as big as I would like it to be with stuff. It's very full of clothes, but this really is the extent of the stuff that I own. So with that in mind, I'm not that unhappy. Day three. Dun dun. <laughs> This is the last area guys. Honestly, I just kind of gave up on it yesterday. As I said, I'm being a little bit lazy, but I think that's just the new year feels. I'm struggling a little bit to get going, but I just want to get this last area done today. So that includes cosmetics, sorting out my memory pile, clearing out my makeup bag, sorting out the chair. I know I've spoken about this before, but everybody has the chair. I will probably take these down and find an alternative solution for them. If I don't do that today, that will be last on my list. They'll have to come down before I paint anyway. Posters will be coming off and final two shelves will be tidied. Day three, final day. Pippi agrees it has to be our final day. Let's go. And we are done. I feel like we need some applause right now because that was not an easy process. I didn't go into it thinking that it would be super easy, but it was harder than I thought. Now, I realized when I was looking at the footage from day three that I didn't talk too much. I kind of spent my day just mulling around, tidying up, cleaning things. And so I want to tell you a couple of my top tips for the kimono categories, which I found was an issue the last time I did this. So hopefully this will help you avoid some of my mistakes. So the general way, and I know I've spoken about this before, that Marie Kondo sets out her categories is that it goes from easiest to hardest. So your clothes are supposed to be the easiest thing for you to deal with. And then as you move down the categories to things like photographs and letters and things like that, it gets harder. And I noticed that as I was gathering things from my memory box, I was getting very distracted by them. And as soon as I opened the memory box, that was the end of me. I spent a half day sitting down there reading old cards, reading old things from Danny. So my advice would be to not open your memory box until every single other little thing is complete. And I mean complete, because you will lose half a day going down memory lane, which is not a bad thing. It's just a little bit of a hindrance when you're on a time scale and trying to get things done. Cosmetics is another really tricky area. Thankfully, I don't have that much. However, there is a use by date on all cosmetics. So if you didn't know, that little number that's on the back of your moisturizer means that it should be used or thrown away after that amount of time. And there are plenty of recycling schemes that exist out there for old cosmetics. You just kind of have to dig around and find them. There's all kinds of methods for discarding of those properly. So if you have a bit of time on your hands, try and make sure that you do that. I think it is important and fair to say that things get worse before they get better. So you saw that progressively as I went through the process, I would clear my desk and then five minutes later, my desk will be absolutely packed again. I think it's easy to get overwhelmed by that, but if you take your time and just work through the steps and work through whatever steps work for you, then you will get there in the end. And if you do live with other people, just help them to understand that it's a temporary process. You're not just dumping loads of stuff outside your bedroom door. You are going to get around to dealing with it, even if it takes you two or three days to get there. The next thing I would say is to try and keep sustainability in mind with every aspect of your room or your home that you're working with. So just think about how can I upcycle this material if I do really like it? How can I discard of this appropriately, whether it's a recycling bin or a donation bin? Taking a step on that minimalism journey is a fantastic way to not only help yourself and your mental clarity and your space, but also help the planet because we are starting to kick that accumulation mentality in the backside. So with all of that said, I'm really excited that I now have a clean and clutter-free space that is ready to be redecorated. Before we go, if you liked the video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Also, please don't forget to hit subscribe. And I'm looking forward to seeing you back on my channel very, very soon. Bye.